This is um, one section of our bedroom. Jay just passed a vacuum over. That is totally disgusting. So, yeah. That water actually came from this little section here by the bed. That's, like, really disgusting. So, um, yeah, he's basically cleaning the carpet in sections. Really dirty, really needed it. I'm sure he's going to be going over it one more time. And then he'll make his way around the room. He said he's going to do it in sections. Uh... So once he finishes everything, I'm just showing you guys really quick how it looks. He didn't start over here. Yeah, my side usually is not bad like that because everybody's walking over here. So once he starts finishing it up, I'll show you guys. But this is how the area looks right now as far as before he cleans up anything over here. He even like the entryway and stuff. So I'll show you guys the after once he finished doing it. Okay fam, Jay just finished um, cleaning the carpet in the room. It does look really nice and it smells amazing. I'll show you guys a little overview of that in a minute. I do have to go get some groceries. Um, I made a grocery list because I'm on a strict budget right now. So I have to do things, you know, budget friendly. But I do need to get this fridge a little tidy before I go. Um, it's not terrible, but I do just want to just wipe off the shelves. It's not bad, you guys saw me do it before. I just need to do it again. Some things need to be thrown out. I already threw some salad out, and I just want to, like I said, wipe the shelves off. So I'm going to do that with you guys really quick. Um, I do have some clothes in the washing machine. I need to throw them in the dryer, and then I need to get my other basket, but that's actually in the room, in the bathroom, where the shade is clean. So I'm going to give it a few minutes, and then I will probably go back in and get that basket and continue washing. A little bump coming up washing those clothes but yeah let me get this fridge cleaned up with you guys really quick i also want to turn the dishwasher on clean that out so i'm going to take the little filter out of there wash that off throw some bleach in there and turn that on with you guys i'm um, just getting a little bit of tidying up do, done a little deep cleaning here and there so we can continue to get the house in order i hope everybody's doing great doing lovely appreciate all the love on the video that's um out right now before this and the other one um, funny thing, I think I've been on here for about three years and I just feel like my videos aren't being pushed out there and that I was reading on and researching some things. So I found some things that I could tweak in my office of, you know, getting my SEOs and things like that up. So hopefully those little things that I tweak was able to help it and also with you guys sharing and stuff like that, that um, actually helps a lot as well. So, you know, this YouTube thing I started on my own, no help, just do dove right into it, not knowing anything. So, still learning, um, still a sponge soaking up. So, again, appreciate you guys for always watching the videos and being there. So this is a fridge. As I said, I didn't have to do nothing crazy. Just wanted to wipe it out a little bit and throw out what I needed to throw out. So that's the after, better than what it was. Um, this water jug, I linked it before in another video. It's on my Amazon store. It really, um, the water tastes really, really nice in this bottle. We actually use this a lot. As you see, it's already on 19% as far as the usage of it. And it came on 60. So when it gets down to zero, it lets you know the filter has to be changed. So that's how much we've used it. And as I said, I just wiped off the doors and, you know, cleared out what I needed to clear out. This basically was already kind of empty. So I just wiped it out and moved
So hey fam, how are you guys doing? Um, I just wanted to do a quick introduction. If you're new, welcome. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for supporting my channel. Um, my name is Natasha. I'm a full-time working mom of four and a special needs mom. Um, here I bring you guys things on lifestyle, motherhood, and home, which include, you know, home improvements, decor, day in the life type videos, cleaning, motivation, organization, you know, just things on trying to update your home, uplift each other, keep each other going, um, being positive, you know, um, sometimes we don't always have those people that we could depend on and count on. And a lot of us are homebodies like myself. So this is just an outlet for me to share certain things that are going on during the day and just also um, communicate with you guys and making new friends and family, which I found here. And I just want to say that I appreciate, appreciate you guys. And I thank you guys for being here as much as you have. And yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now. But again, if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button if this is the type of content that you like and stick around. So I just got back from the grocery store. Um, Zoe has to go to a little meet up with her friends. So I'm gonna do a quick uh, a quick grocery haul with you guys. It's in no type of particular order. I spent about 203 um, at the store again. I told you I was on a budget. And I didn't pick up probably three things that I needed to get. I needed to get a pie crust um, to make a chicken pot pie. I wanted to get some scented beets to add to what I already had. And then also I needed to get um, what else I need to get some more orange juice. So only three things I didn't pick up. So at some point in time, I will get back to the store to pick those things up and add to what I already have. So I picked up a bag of potatoes because we can have something different, some cookies to do a little food for the kids, some Texas toast to go with dinner, Rice Krispies, um, two packs of meat to have some dinner options for the week, and then some crackers, um, cream of wheat, wanted something different, fruit snacks, um, lasagna. I'm going to make some stovetop lasagna. And then this is for soup that I'm going to be making and sharing with you guys. And then some onions and scallions. Um, coffee. I picked up this light yogurt. Wanted to try that out. Some tea. Uh, some Kool-Aid jammers. Mason's been loving the grape flavor. And then some more skincare products. We are loving these. Zoe's really into her um, skincare. And then um, also some gel nail polish clear. Then I also got some eggs, some cran grape juice, apple juice, um, some of these ice waters, which are really good. Zoe wanted those. And then these are just some items I picked up to do, like a papai meal for the week. Um, I forgot to get the pie crust, so I have to go back for that. And then the broth, that's for the soup. Um, some cheese and some rice options, butter, takis, and that completes the grocery haul. Good morning, guys. It is another day. Um, excuse my room. I worked late last night, so I didn't come back on to do anything else. Uh, I have to put some more clothes in the washing machine. I just wanted to come through and show you guys the carpet. My room needs to dust. Um, and it's just simple and basic for now so I'm able to get to it and take care of some of these things that I want to do. This is another project in here that I want to do for the year. But as I always say, a little at a time, I'm starving so I'm going to go make some eggs with Sanaya. This is the weekend so she likes to make eggs. But I just wanted to show you guys a carpet really quick. I already cleaned off the fan so if I come back in here and show a little light dusting and just straightening up, I'm not going to show you guys that. Um, show you the carpet. It smelled really amazing. That um, cleaner that I shared last video, I'll link, push show you right here. It smelled really, really amazing. It's not a big bottle. You don't need a lot. Jay still loves the Resolve, but this did do a good job. Um, so let me show you guys really quick. Hopefully the light is not too crazy in here. Um, it's not really a lot of sun outside. It's kind of cool actually here today. I think we're in the 60s. It was in the 50s last night. So enjoying a little change of the weather. I need to just change my sheets. Um, my comforter is fine. And I just want to dust this down and then just, you know, wipe this down. I think I'm going to change my florals out and that'll be it for in here. Um, hopefully soon I'm going to get rid of that basket there. That's what the kids supplies. I'm going to do a little... Uh, organization with that so I'll share it but this is the carpet it looks a lot better than what it looked like before um came through and did this for the most part of the uh day yesterday I'm putting this hallway light so you guys can see but yeah it is a lot um better than what it was if he wants he probably can do it again 
just one more time. But I showed you guys how dirty that water was. And yeah, it was disgusting. So better than what it was. Smells fresh, feels a lot lighter. Yeah, so that's it for that. I'm gonna, Like I said, I'm going to go bake some breakfast, put some clothes in the washing machine. I already folded up the clothes from this morning because I wanted to clean up the fan, so I just folded those up really quick. And I'm just going to get a few more things done today. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys are up to, what you're getting into, what you did this weekend. I wanted to take the kids to this carousel park that we've been to before, um, but of course, Jay, he's still kind of, uh, and then... Cold does not really agree with him. The slightest little ear, he got a sweater on. So I'm not sure if we're going to be able to take them today, if he's going to be able to deal with that. But I wanted to do, take them out to do that. So we'll see. But um, yeah, we're going to come through with some more cleaning. I actually have to go get a MRI done. Um, I had an ultrasound done before and they couldn't see. They wanted to see a better view um, as far as what's going on with me I've been dealing and experiencing lots of pain in my uh, abdomen pelvic area and I've been dealing with it for a long time and I decided it's time to go get it checked out and take care of myself so I have an MRI to do and once we do that hopefully they'll be able to tell me if I have fibroids endometriosis or if there's anything going on um, I do have a retroverted uterus they said and also I know I already had a bicornea so which is basically like a heart-shaped uterus so I have two um what do you call it my mind went blank instead of one um what am I trying to say ovary it's not ovary I think it's ovary I don't remember it's early I have two so um, one is just a little bit smaller than the other side so I am high risk as far as pregnancies and things like that. And then the girl was even saying that she's surprised that I was even able to have um, the number of kids that I had because of how my uterus is. It's basically high risk and it's hard to have babies. So being young, um, I knew after my son, when I went to have Sanaya, that I had a bicornate uterus. I didn't know when I had my son because I was young. So... Um, you know, things were different and you're not really aware. So maybe if I was more aware of, I knew they said I was high risk, but I wasn't sure if it was because I already had a, like a miscarriage before and things like that. Or, um, you know, just being my age, I was in my like mid twenties with Sanaya. So I'm not sure I was seeing like a high risk doctor and things like that, but or going to high risk appointments, but I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't aware of the circumstances of how severe it was. So probably when I was getting those pains, when I was um, having her before I had her and had the issue as far as um, my placenta abruption, I would have just went to the hospital. Yeah, you know, so basically knowledge is key. So I'm just saying that if you are a mom, um, young mom or, you know, middle aged mom, you know, trying to have a child, just listen to your body. If your mind's telling you to go to the hospital or you have questions about anything, let just go and let them tell you to go home, you know, but enough of talking about that. Um, we weren't trying to get into all that right now, but I just wanted to give you a little update of what's going on with me and I'll keep you guys advised as far as what the outcome is. Okay. So we just finished having breakfast. I do want to, I need to clean up or my, wipe off my sideboard here. I want to change this at some point, but yeah. I got so much stuff I want to do, guys. But yeah, wipe that off. And then I need to mop the front room because nobody's out here. So I want to get it mopped up really quick and straightened up. So I'm going to do that first. And then at some point, if I can get to my room before the end of this video, I will. I also want to do a, uh, I'm going to do a little cook with me with you guys. I'm going to share a soup. Um, it's a cream of, cheesy cream of broccoli soup. So I'm going to do that, so I'll share that in the video in a little bit, but I just wanted to get this clean and done, like I said, because nobody's up here. I want to do a little dusting, a little straightening up, and so I'm going to show a little bit of the sweeping. It's a lot, so I'm going to just do a show a little bit, a little bit of sweeping, mopping, wiping up, and then I need to style this uh, sideboard. I also received a new lamp warmer that I want to try out, so I want to share it with you guys. I'm going to open it here with you guys. I was going to do it off off screen, but I just want to do it with you guys here and share it. It's really pretty. 
so i'll share that with you guys at some point i do have to come back through here and dust off these light fixtures over here again let me show you yeah it's looking a little dusty i just touched it that's why i shake it i want to dust these off again i want to dust up here i want to change my baby's pictures out that's my firstborn my oldest so you guys have never really seen i think you've seen him a long time ago in a video but that's my oldest right there and then you got naya zoe and then mason uh the last soldier to finish it off but yeah i think i do want to change this out too to me this is kind of giving more farmhousey with that thing around it so do you guys think i should take that uh jute off of there can you see is it focusing take that jute wrap off of there or leave it i mean it's cool but i kind of want to change up there a little bit so you let me know should i paint it leave it the same or just take the jute off or just dust it off and leave it alone and then we have a cute pretty little um orchid here we have this usually on the patio and the little box and once they start blooming this time of year my mother-in-law brings them out so that's really pretty so that's going to stay there these are actually real um this is what i use in that little glass jar that i used in the last video in front these are real from an old uh what do you call it bouquet that i had and i just kept it and let it dry out so these are real so i'll just move it around and this is a diy little vase that i did it was a glass jar and i diy that so i just want to get this area like i said wiped down you can see it's dusty and we'll go from there this is how back here looks so i'm going to just get that cleaned up really quick and then move that back because I need to plug in that. Um, I don't know if that lamp's gonna fit there, but we'll see. I'll try to see if I can put it there. Don't deny that I could use some company. All my friends say, honey, just let him be. Now your perfume's stuck on my shirt. And there's an ember left in my bed. I don't know about you, but put you first. I bought some new flowers. Just want your time guys an overview of the family room or living room I should say here change it up a little bit added some Easter bunnies in there and I have the Bible there and this I actually do like it it's very nice and sleek my only issue is that this part right here is like a cheap plastic like it's plasticky and it turns I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be or not but for the most part it is a very nice um, Piece. I want to turn it on with you guys it actually has touch it says it has if I did it right hold on you power it on first okay and then like you can touch it by the handle it says to give it how many how much time you want it to be on for so I have to figure that part of it out but yeah it's a very nice piece it's modern it's sleek and I appreciate and thank um, the company that sent it to me. I will have a link below if you guys want to check it out. Again, as I said, it is a very nice piece. My only thing would be like the little plastic base right here. But other than that, it's very nice. Um, it's a nice piece. And then this is over here. Nothing special. I just, like I said, mopped, um, dusted. I did have the windows open. Um, 
This plant over here is thriving really nice. The one by the door is crazy, so I have to put another um, tie band on it, and then I'll probably buy a thing where I can make it like wind around it, and then I'm also gonna change these pots out for them to give them some bigger pots, but yeah, this one is thriving well. The one by the door, I'm not really liking how that's growing, but this is it for the most part for this area. Um, as I said, my in-laws are up here, and just keep it simple and basic for now, but some changes coming soon with this area. As I finished doing my cleaning, I didn't show all the mopping and all that stuff. Really, Mason? Now I'm going to show you the ingredients for the uh, cheesy broccoli soup. It is a Panera Bread dupe. So if you guys try it out, definitely let me know. Or if you have tried it before, let me know. So I'm going to show you everything that you need and then just a little bit of me cooking it and you guys will see the after. So this is what you need. I have broccoli here. I just got the um, frozen broccoli and cut them up, the florets. We have about a half onion. I have probably about a um, garlic and a half because I have, or two, two pieces of garlic because I have some in there. I didn't have enough uh, of that one. Then I'm going to double this because I'm going to try to make a double recipe. So basically four tablespoons of flour. You need two cups of cheese. Double it if you're going to do... Um, a extra uh, serving if you want to double the recipe just double what I'm telling you and then you're gonna need basically a large carrot you're gonna need two cups of the chicken broth uh, two cups of heavy cream half and half or milk they want you to use paprika but I'm gonna actually use I just took that out so you can see it I'm gonna use this right here because it has a garlic onion um, turbinado sugar and paprika I'm gonna use this one instead because it's salt free and then a little bit of nutmeg which is optional a little salt and black pepper and then you only need a half stick of butter but I'm using a whole because I'm doubling the recipe like I said Okay guys, we're approaching the end of the video. Let me know if you've tried this soup before, if you're gonna try it out. It's definitely great. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get to my room because I have been working late hours, but there's always the next video. And again, if you're still here, just leave me your favorite emoji in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay guys, this is how the soup turned out and how it looks. I'm taking out the kids' soup right now. 
It does taste amazing. And all I did is I paired it with um, the cheesy bread, which I showed you guys here, and I just sprinkled a little bit of cheese on top. But that's it.